Well, my YouTube peeps, this is part two of my month end review of the real and fake treasures I have found. My previous video, I showed you all the fake stuff I found, so now I'm going to show you all the real stuff I found. As you can see, I found me a 1912 Barber nickel. Other people, they, they call it the V nickel just because the V in the center was actually a Barber nickel. So that was a pretty good find. And they got me a 1951 S Wheat Penny. I get more of those than you would believe. A 1955 D Wheat Penny. A 1956 D Wheat, wheat Penny. A 1980 Canadian Penny. <laughs> so isn't that nice? I got all these. I get all these pennies in Canadian. Then 1942 wheat penny with no mint mark. 1969 S Lincoln penny with no FG and is a floating roof. A bicentennial Eisenhower silver dollar. 1957 D wheat penny. As you can see, I got a lot of wheat pennies. A 1978 Eisenhower. A bicentennial half dollar, Kennedy half dollar. 1977 Ike again. Well, 78, 77, and then a 1972 Eisenhower. With, I think the best part of my collection would be this right here the Liberty. I think it's, no, this, what is this? That's right. This, this is the Peace Silver Dollar from 1922. And if you look really close right down there, it, it's sort of faded out really bad. But it says Peace right there. And it has a bit of wear and tear on it, but otherwise it's still pretty good. But this is basically my whole collection of the real stuff I got during this month of August. you got to admit, that's not a bad start compared to, let's see here. Let's do a nice comparison here. Like I said, all the real stuff to all the fake stuff. And that includes him. I mean, I think he might be real, but I'm not positive because it's been a while since I've actually seen one of these. And I've looked him up online and he looks like the real thing. But I'm not exactly sure. But like I said, my real, sorry, this is my fake pile compared to my real stuff. And if you guys ever want to know where to get the holders for these things, like I said, I bought them from Amazon. It came with holders to hold pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters, half dollars, and silver dollars. And then also these plastic cases around this. I also got from Amazon as well. They also come in various sizes as well for your coins. But I need them for this, the, the big coins because if you see most of my coins I collect are like really small. Like the dimes and nickels and pennies and stuff like that. But until next time, always check your pocket change. You never know when you might find a wheat penny. <laughs> until next time, have a wonderful evening. Bye.